हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मै हसन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट परसेंटेज इन लेक्चर नंबर नाइन दैट इज टूडेज लेक्चर ऑफ सी एस एस जनरल साइंस एंड एबिलिटी प्रपरेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज वेरी सिंपल यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब यू हैव टू गो इन टू द प्ले लिस्ट एंड यू कैन हैव माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर द टॉपिक ऑफ परसेंटेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू नो दैट परसेंटेज बहुत आता है आ रहा है आपके पेपर्स में क्वेश्चंस में स्टैट्स के क्वेश्चंस में और मिक्स कर देते हैं वो परसेंटेज को वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे इज वॉट इज परसेंटेज आई विल बी वेरी सिंपल इन एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ परसेंटेज इन टू फ्रैक्शन फ्रैक्शन इन टू परसेंटेज हाउ टू फाइंड हाउ टू एक्सप्रेस वन क्वान्टिटी एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ एन अदर परसेंटेज इंक्रीज परसेंटेज डिक्रीज इंक्रीज अ क्वान्टिटी बाई सर्टन परसेंटेज डिक्रीज अ क्वान्टिटी बाई सर्टन परसेंटेज एंड द मोस्ट थ्रेटनिंग वन रिवर्स परसेंटेज वेल आई विल गो सेक्शन बाई सेक्शन द फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट इज परसेंटेज द परसेंटेज इज अ फ्रैक्शन बट द डिनोमिनेटर इज हंड्रेड लाइक दिस वन ओवर हंड्रेड वेल दिस इज वन परसेंट टू ओवर हंड्रेड वेल दिस इज टू परसेंट एंड द परसेंटेज मीन वन बाय हंड्रेड दिस सिंबल इज बेसिकली वन डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड फाइव परसेंट इज फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड टेन परसेंट इज 10 divided by 100. In short, whatever the percentage is, 10 percent mean 10 parts out of 100. 5 percent mean 5 parts out of 100. 1 percent mean 1 part out of 100. This is percentage. The next one is conversion of percentage into fraction. Now let us take an example. Convert. 25 percent into fraction. Very simple. Write 25 percent equal to 25 in place of percent. When you will remove this sign, divide by 100. That is 25 by 100. 1 by 4. This is your required fraction. part number 3 conversion of fraction into percentage convert fraction that is 3 over 4 into percentage well you need to multiply your fraction by 100 to convert it into percentage 41 times 4 425 times 100 25 into 3, 75 percent. So conversion of fraction into percentage needs multiplication by 100. First three parts are done. Next one is express one quantity as a percentage of another quantity. No, the important thing starts from here. So let me take a question. Well, this is part number four. find one number as a percentage of the other number up till now we have done three parts and let me repeat again percent is basically a fraction with a denominator of 100 or you can say out of 100 the concept of percentage is parts out of 100 okay so starting from this question starting from the question Express 15 as a percentage of 75. Now you need to understand that this 15 is your first quantity, and 75 is your second quantity. Okay. And to express one quantity as a percentage of another quantity, you need to write first quantity. Divided by 
second quantity multiply by 100. So you need to express 15 which is first quantity as a percentage of 75 which is second quantity so that is 15 out of 75 into 100 and you can do it that is 5 15 time 75 5 20 times 100 you can simplify it further. So 20 percent is your answer. 15 as a percentage of 75 is basically 20 percent. Question number 2. Express 75. This is your first quantity as a percentage of 15. This is your second quantity. Write down the formula. First quantity over second quantity into 100. First quantity 75, second quantity 15 into 100. 15, 1 times 15, 15, 5 times 75. 100 into 5, 500 percent. 75 is as a percentage of 15 is 500 percent. This is finding one number as a percentage of another or to express one quantity as a percentage of another quantity. Next one is percentage increase and percentage decrease. So starting from that one the topic number five and six well, this one is very interesting and important one as far as your paper is concerned. Percentage increase and decrease, we are going to do one question for increase, one for decrease. Percentage increase is basically whatever increase is observed in the price, in the quantity, whatever given in the data, divided by original quantity into 100. Like Ahmed bought 30 books in 2010. This is your quantity in 2010 and 40 books in 2015. So compare the quantities 30 into 10, 40 into 15. What you observe? Quantity has increased 30 to 40, increased how much increased 10 from 30 to 40 the quantity increased by 10. And the original quantity is 30 multiplied by 100. That will give you what? That will give you 100 over 3. That is 33.33% approximately. Approximately. So the percentage increase in his buying of books is 33.33%. Let's talk about percentage decrease. The same concept applies here, but in the case of percentage decrease, the quantity will be decreased divided by original quantity into 100. Amjad spends 3000 rupees on shopping in June and 2000 on shopping in July. This is your quantity amount. Now, amount has decreased here amount has increased quantity here amount has decreased what is decrease what is decrease how much it has been decreased 3000 to 2000 it's decreased by 1000 divided by what is original amount that is 3000 multiply by 100 Simplify it. Okay, 100 over 3 is 33.33 percent. That's very nice to see. Same answers for both one, but here it's decreased. Here it is decreased. So let me verify it again. Zeros goes. Okay, that's it. So so I think this is the concept of percentage increase, 
and percentage decrease you have been uh, you will be given two quantities the cost of uh, up a watch increased from hundred dollar to two hundred dollar fine percentage increase so cost increased from hundred to two hundred the difference how much is increase hundred divided by original is hundred in two hundred well this is what the concept says so next one is increase and decrease a given quantity by a certain percentage and then reverse percentage so next one is as i have told you increase and decrease by a given percentage so increase 56 by a given percentage which is 10 percent you have to increase 56 by 10 percent first of all find 10 percent of 56 well that is 10 by 100 10 percent is 10 by 100 into 56 well that is 56 divided by 10 that is 5.6 and then you have to increase 56 by 10 percent 10 percent of 56 is this one and to increase you have to add this increase in your original quantity so 56 plus 10 percent increase it will give you 61.6 the next one is when you are decreasing something by a given percentage and that happens in sale all items are reduced by 15 percent okay reduction reduced reduction if normal selling price for bicycle is 2000 original initially the price was 2000 however there is a sale there is a reduction and reduction is of 15 percent mean 2000 will be reduced by 15 percent and then there will be a new price and you have to find the new price after reduction first of all find 15 percent of 2000 that is 15 out of 100 into 2000 the 15 into 20 will give you 300 rupees well this is a reduction this is to be reduced this is to be decreased from here so new price of bicycle after reduction new price will be previous price minus the sale reduction whatever is in decreased in the sale that is 1700 rupees quite economical now okay so this is the concept of uh, uh, to increase or decrease a quantity by a given percentage the last one is reverse percentage that is quite interesting and important one so moving towards the last one so in case of reverse percentage what is how you are you will identify it that this is reverse percentage now in this case your original price will not be given uh, price after deduction after increase uh, will be given and you will be asked to find the original price well that is uh, that is not uh, going to work if you are going to reduce the increased price or decreased price uh, I mean if you are going to increase the decreased price by the given percentage that is not going to work reverse percentage is an indication where you you will be given uh, the price after after sale let us discuss the question i think that will help you in clearing your concept so a store is holding a sale there is a sale in store and the and, and in the sale the reduction is 10 percent on all items on all items reduction is 10 percent and we have a jacket in the sale and that jacket is sold for 108 dollars well this is price after reduction we need to find original price 
the price that is before the reduction before the sale what was the price so in this case you don't know the original price so for that let us take let original price rest original price is x let's suppose that the original price of the jacket is x and out of this price x you have to decrease you have to reduce 10% of this price and when you will reduce 10% of this price from the original price or when you will decrease your original price by 10% you will get the price after reduction that is 108 this is price after reduction of 10% from original so let us calculate x x minus 10% of x is 10 over 100 x equals 108 well that is you can take the LCM so 100 x 100 into 100 100 into x 100 x minus 1 into 10 10 x is equal to 108 that is 90 x over 100 is equal to 108 simplified 9 by 10 x is equal to 108 9 x is equal to 108 0 10 will be multiplied with this one and now x will be equal to 108 0 divided by 9 let us calculate this well 9 1 time 9 9 1 time 9 1 carried over 8 18 9 2 time 18 0 so your original price was $120 and the selling price is 108 so you can see original price is more because this is reduced by 10% and you get this one so if you will reduce 120 by 10% you will get this one so this is reverse percentage this is reverse percentage so this is the topic of percentage for CSS GSA I have briefly explained all the concepts still you have any query you can comment thank you so much